In today's modern age, we spend a large amount of our time looking at a screen for entertainment. But this project will challenge you to step away from your screens and create your own fun. We're going to make a launcher that can via corks and other projectiles. We can then use this launcher to create a new game, similar to 10-pin bowling, using materials that can be found around the house. Here's what you'll need for today's build. Understanding the science of projectile motion and how objects fly through the air is important for lots of things, from aerospace engineering to sports. This project will introduce you to some of the concepts that surround this science, whilst also challenging your creativity. We will be taking a look at forces and motion by building a simple device that can be used to launch a projectile. In addition to this, you will be tasked with creating your own unique game and scoring system. Let's get started. If your cardboard tube has a metal base, take a pair of scissors and remove it. Ask a grown-up if you need help with this part. If you'd like to decorate the tube with some coloured paper to make it your own, now's a good time to do that. Attach the paper to the tube using masking tape. Next, using your scissors, cut two notches on either side of the tube, roughly two centimetres wide, and make sure these are opposite each other. Take your elastic band and slot it into the notches you have just created. To help secure the elastic band in place, Wrap masking tape around the top of the tube. Now, we need to make a hole roughly a third from the neck of the bottle. With scissors or a skewer, carefully push a hole through the bottle. This hole makes space for a pencil, and if you need to hold it in place, you can use tape or white tack. In the final step, we need to assemble your cork launcher. Place the wide end of the bottle into the tube and hook the bands around the pencil. Here, we're using a cork as our projectile, but the launcher can fire all kinds of different things, like ping pong balls, paper, or foil. Now that you've got your cork launcher, we need to make the pins. To create a pin, you'll need two paper cups. Using tape, secure the paper cups together around the widest part. You'll have something that looks a bit like this. If you like, create your own point system by writing a different number on the bottom of each pin. Then, when you're counting the scores at the end, Knocking over the biggest point pins will produce the winner. Finally, set up your pins in whichever shape you like and you're ready to start experimenting with your cork launcher. You can find out more about the science behind projectiles, step-by-step -step instructions and a quiz to test your knowledge in our accompanying worksheet. And for more hands-on projects to try at home, visit imeke.org forward slash stem at home.